She is a child educator and she also deals in drama, drama and other forms of art. Please give a warm welcome to Miss Theodora Ulrey. I want 
to give only a piece of history because everybody in this room know about who I'm going to talk. His name is Anansi. Everybody know Anansi's story. But how many people know where he came from? And how these stories came to the earth? Well, Auntie Tia going to tell all you how these stories came to the earth. Before I start doing it, I want to give you a little chat. Listen to my story, listen to my song. Listen to the sound and the rhythm of the drum. I want to already help me here, right? Let me do a little rehearsal. Listen to my story, listen to my song. Listen to the sound and the rhythm of the drum. Now, when I say the rhythm, you will say the rhythm, okay? I wish all you were closer, but I wouldn't ask you to come. Right, here we go. Listen to my story, listen to my song. Listen to the sound and the rhythm of the drum. The rhythm. The rhythm. The rhythm. The rhythm of the drum. I say the rhythm. The rhythm. The rhythm. The rhythm. The rhythm of the drum. And if you listen, you're going to learn. Yes, if you listen. You're going to learn, but we have to learn to listen. So, learn to listen, and listen and learn. And if you learn, you're going to earn. Tell it to her that. You will never be barren or fruitless. You will always prosper. Well, I want to tell all you how Anansi come down. Let me tell you. Anansi came from the Ashanti of Ghana in West Africa. And in this, the international year for people of African descent, I think it's a good story to tell all you. And this is a story that will help children and adults and everybody to become agents of change, which is the theme of this evening's proceedings. All right, here. There was a time when there were no stories to tell, no stories at all. Well, boy, Auntie Tia would have starved. But anyway, all these stories belong to Nyame. And he was the god of the sky. Well, Kua Kua Nancy, the spider man, they say he was a spider god. He wanted to buy the sky god stories. What do you think he do? Well, he was a spider. So he spin a web up to the sky. Now, I want all you to remember something. And Nancy was the very first superhero. So that man, Spider-Man, he's a fake. Tell all the children that to me, please. So he spin a web up to the sky. He didn't have, to have no gadget. He just do so, whoom, and he reached up the sky. And he go on before Niamh, he said, oh, Niamh, I would like to buy a box of stories. Well, Niamh started to laugh. He said, <laughs> you want to buy my stories? Well, if you want to buy my stories, you have to pay the price. And the price of my stories is that you have to bring me for Sebo. Leopard of the terrible teeth. You have to bring me and borrow the hornets who sting like fire. And you have to bring me Moatia, the very no whom no man has ever seen. Well, and Nancy say, I will gladly pay the price. Well, Niamh start to laugh again. He say, How can a weak man like you? You are so small. How can you pay my price? But Nancy answer, you know, he just went down to the earth to find the things that his sky god wanted. If all he was listening, all remember. A leopard, some hornets, and a fairy. So he walked in through the jungle part. When he came upon a sable, the leopard, and the old sable said, Aha, Nancy, you're just in time to be my lunch. He said, uh -huh. Well, all right. Here what? You could eat me. That's okay. But before you eat me, I want to play a game with you. You want to play? He said, What game is left? He said, Well, I'm going to tie you by your foot on your foot. And then you're going to untie me. And then it will be your turn to tie me if you want to play a sable. Now, Osebo loved games, and he was planning to eat Anansi when it was his turn. He said, yes, I want to play. And Anansi tied Osebo by his foot, by his foot, by his forefoot, eh? By his foot, by his foot. And he hung him in the tree, and he said, aha, uh -huh, Osebo, you're ready to meet this guy. God, you're ready. He started mocking. Osebo said, God, Anansi is a nasty liar. You tell me. He said, never mind. And he gone, twing. He gone now looking for the hornets. 
Now, Ashanti people know. I know, all they're supposed to know, Modu Modupe know, and all these people here are supposed to know, if you want to do something good, you have to have a plan. So he planned. He cut a leaf from a banana tree, and he pulled the calabash with water, and he gone creeping up to the dust of Emboro, and he sprinkled some of the water. He say, Emboro, <laughs> it is raining. You want to come inside my calabash? No, if you come inside my calabash, the rain will not match up your wings. So Osebo gone inside his calabash. Man, and Nancy stopped the motor, the calabash, and that was it for Osebo. He said, Osebo, Emboro, <laughs> you're ready to meet this guy, God. But they gone, he tied them up next to the leopard. So he gone swing. Anybody remember what he had to find? Oh, they listen very good. Well, well done. So he gone now looking for the fairy. Now everybody know, by now, all they know, Modupe, they don't know already. I know, and them fellas in the back, they know. If you want to do something good, you have to have a... Right. So, he gone now looking for the fairy. Now, he know the fairy does dance under the flamboyant tree at midnight. He also knows she loves she love yams. Now, if you want to catch somebody, you get to know what they like and give it to them. Anyway, so, <laughs> he gone now, and he make the plan. He cut a wooden doll and he covered over with sticky gum. He pull a bowl with yam, he pong the yam, and he put it in the bowl. He tie a string around the doll's neck, and he waiting for Madame Wakia when she come at midnight to dance under the flamboyant tree, and this is how she's singing. Now she's singing a song she learned from Miriam Akiba on one of her trips to the future, and hear how she's singing it. <laughs> you laugh, she can't, she joke. Pull it, pull it, dance it, because I have the mic in my hand, but I'll try. Pole pole mse, pole pole mse, pole pole mse, a fufu mwa. Kenya tale tata Kenya, Kenya tale tata Kenya, Kenya tale tata Kenya, a fufu mwa. Ay mama pole pole mse, pole pole. Why? As she do so, and she see the yam, she love yam, and she's a greedy fairy. She said, come baby, <laughs> can I have some of your yams? So Anansi, only remember, Anansi behind the tree, and he make the dolly neck kind of shiggly, wiggly, wiggly, <laughs> and he have a string around the dolly neck, and he pull the string, and the dolly seemed to nod. No, he also knows she have a bad temper. So she had all the yams, and when she was finished, she said, Thank you, come baby. Well, Nancy didn't pull the string, so Dolly didn't answer, and she get real vexed. She said, come baby, I'm what the fairy who no man has ever seen. I am thanking you, and you do not answer me. If you don't answer me, I am going to slap you in your crying place. That's what the Shanti say. The tears fall in the crying place. I'll slap you in your crying place. No answer. She slapped the gum. She's tripping, huh? She slapped the gum, baby. Whack. What happened? Hand got stuck. This smart. Next hand, she said, yeah, let go of my hand. And if you do not let go of my hand, I am going to slap you again. Whack. Next hand. Foot. And there she was, all stuck. And who came out from behind the tree? Right. And he took her and he tied her around the other three. And then he had to fulfill his mission. So he spin a web. Oh! to the sky and he went before Nyami and he said oh Nyami <laughs> I have brought you the things you demanded Osebo the leopard of the terrible teeth Emboro the hornets who sting like fire and Mwatia the fairy who no man has ever seen can I have a box of stories now <laughs> and Nyami was amazed because nobody had ever done it before anybody you know maybe maybe anybody who tried the leopard could have had them for supper or lunch or dinner or maybe the hornets could have stung them to death or maybe the fairy could have turned them into a frog or something nobody ever heard them again and that was it but here is this little man and Nancy. so he decided that he would call a decree that they would have a three-day festival and a thank you and a beautiful song and dance and food and everything was nice and they had a feast in the heavens and then at the end of it they gave they had a handing over ceremony and all the counselors called and he said come come 
Kwaku and Ancias brought me the things I demanded, and he now will be proclaimed the owner of these stories. And from this day and henceforth, all these stories will be known as Anansi stories or spider stories, and they will belong to Kwaku and Anansi. And they had a big hand in the ceremony, and they gave, he handed the stories to Kwaku and Anansi. And Anansi bowed very low and he said, thank you very much. And he went back down to the earth. And when Anansi went back down to the earth, he opened the box of stories. And all the stories flew out of the box to every corner of the earth, including Napa here with Synergia. And that is how Anansi, Tia, get this story to tell all you. So I'm going to send a story for all you, catch a story and tell it to your children. Thank you very much. <laughs> Next on stage, I would like to re-invite Miss Letitia Sylvester, and she will be serenading you once again, Miss Letitia Sylvester. <laughs> You're feeling good? Yes. I'm feeling real good. <laughs> so, you feeling cold? <laughs> Take some warm tea. <laughs> Just gonna share this song with you. Hope by at the end of it, those of you who are not feeling good, gonna feel good. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. For me, I'm feeling good. Oh. Fish in the sea. It's a new dawn, it's a new 